am Yusuf Mohammed Hamid Abu Musa, seven years old. My father is a Palestinian physician working in the radiology department at the nearby Nasser Hospital, and my mother is Egyptian Palestinian. My grandmother is from Sharkia, Egypt, so my father was able to get Egyptian citizenship through her, and my siblings and I also obtained Egyptian citizenship. I have a sister named Judy and a brother named Hamid. I'm the youngest. On October 15th, there was shelling by the Israeli occupation forces on the Nur Al Shams refugee camp inside Tul Karm city in the West Bank. My dad was working a 24-hour shift in the emergency department. Before he left, I called for him, my mom, and my siblings. I told them I wanted a family hug, for us all to stand together and hug each other. Dad went off to work, and two hours later, we heard the sound of shelling. Our house wasn't very far, and Dad started asking where the shelling was coming from, saying he could hear it was close. He called my mom, but she didn't answer. He called again, and when she picked up, he heard screaming. Dad lost his nerves and ran to the emergency room. As soon as he arrived, he could hear my mom's and brother Hamid's voices screaming. Dad tried to calm them and make sure they and his brother's kids were okay. Then he asked my mom, "Where is Yusuf?" She said she didn't know where I was. Dad kept asking everyone around where I was, but everyone he asked would turn their face away, avoiding answering. Then he went into the resuscitation room and saw a doctor who knew him and me. As soon as the doctor saw my dad, he didn't know what to say. Dad lost his nerves again and kept running around asking, "Where is Yusuf?" My mom had stopped too, and they were all saying, "Yusuf is seven years old. His is a white sweet boy with curly hair." There was a photographer taking pictures of the injuries and events. He opened his camera and started showing my mom and dad the photos until my dad recognized me from my clothes in one of them. When he asked the photographer where that child was, the photographer just shook his head without answering. Then someone there said, "I was carrying him and took him to the fridge," meaning the mortuary. My dad said, "I'll go see him. Maybe it's not him." But he couldn't walk. He was so scared. When he got there, he saw his colleagues looking at him sadly, and they helped him into the mortuary. When my dad went in, he confirmed it was me, Yusuf, his son, whom he loved so much. When he looked at me, he felt like he was dying. He also found my older cousin, just two years older than me, and another older cousin, and his sister-in-law, whose husband couldn't recognize her because she was just body parts. As for my injured cousins, one had a compound fracture in his thigh, arm, shrapnel in his abdomen, and burns. His sister had a pelvic fracture and a deep wound to the bone in her back. When my dad saw all this, he couldn't speak except to say, "Praise God, and God is sufficient for us. Most excellent is the Protector." My dad couldn't tell my mom that I had been martyred. Because when he told my brother Hamid about me, he had a nervous breakdown, screaming, "I want Yusuf." One of the women there was the one who told my mom. My mom insisted on seeing me, even though my dad was very worried about her seeing my lifeless body, who didn't have to say "mom," but she wanted to see me and kiss me before they buried me. My dad said he lost everything. His family, home, and life, but the biggest loss was me, Yusuf, the baby of the family. He said whenever he would leave for work, I would come hug and kiss him and be the first one to run to him when he got home. While my parents were looking for me, a photographer was filming everything. When he posted the video, the whole world grieved for me, and many people cried. They said this was impossible to be just a movie that could win an Oscar because nothing in the real world could break hearts like what we're seeing. My mom and dad loved me so much. They said I was the light of the home, and now the home was extinguished, 
and the home was no more. They commended me to God as one of the martyrs. May God have mercy on all our martyrs, and God willing, we will be birds in paradise. God is sufficient for us. The most excellent is the protector. My heart breaks to share this brutality taking place in Gaza and ethnic cleansing across Palestine. If your heart breaks too, contribute to stop this genocide.